How you doing? I'm my wife. Now, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. And I just got done selling down at Chiriaco Summit at the Chevron. And I had a really interesting experience. There were some good people saying positive things about my art. But there was this guy hanging out when I showed up. He was an Uber driver. Just creepy. Just a creepy dude. He would purposely go upwind for me and smoke his cigarettes. And then no one irritated the shit out of me, but I just didn't say nothing. But that reminded me of the energy exchange and the toxic low vibration and high vibration. I'm going to speak more about this later in my videos. But I was trying to figure out why did I go to school, to college for two years for journalism, if I ended up just being an artist, you know, ended up doing art. You know, three and a half years of college too, by the way. And it came to me just now that I'm writing a manuscript, I'm writing... A blueprint for light workers how they can function in this society you will always be attacked you will always be surrounded by toxic humans low vibration they're not always going to be as creepy as this uber driver he was creepy super but you're going to deal with toxic human beings period your job as a light worker is to shine bright is to keep your body healthy is to keep your mind healthy with positive thoughts Remember, it's about vibration. It's about the light. It's about, I'm just saying, you're going to have people. This guy was creeping. And he just kept giving me these weird looks and smiling. It was creepy. But like I said, people are going to see your light and they're going to want to snuff it out. Or they're going to want to, you know, they're going to want to dilute it with their energy and their bullshit. You have to very, be very careful about that. I'm just, it's amazing. And I... Most people don't understand about this. I'm just learning about this. The last two years has been like a battlefield in constant attacks from toxic human beings. People that see you online and then give you, hor you know, just send horrible little messages to your phone. You know, you know I, get, I get still get creepy people doing stuff like that. But you just learn to ignore. It took me two years to get used to the attacks. Because once you step into your power, once you decide, to, you know, once it's kind of like, it's kind of like being drafted. God is drafting you into the light to do your job, to be a soldier for the light. And when you become a light worker, you instantly become a target for the darkness. It knows you're a light worker. But a lot of light workers don't end up, you'd be surprised how many light workers end up dying and get snuffed out because they don't understand their power and who they are. And they just get taken out by the darkness. And that's not going to happen to me. And it's not going to happen to you because I'm going to write that manuscript. I'm going to write something. To teach you how to protect your energy. You got to think positively all the time. Gratitude. That is your shield. Gratitude for everything you have. And everything you do. Regardless of your circumstance. That's very important also. And uh, loving yourself. That's something I didn't realize. That was a part of the light worker. That is, your, that is also armor. When you love yourself. You're not going to be suck. You're not going to need anybody's validation. You're not going to need to be in a group setting with people. To feel comfortable you're going to be fine by yourself which is unfortunately a side effect of light working a lot of times you can't be around people because most people are just toxic low vibration like i said a lot of people aren't that severe as far as toxic and creepy but still if you're not if you're low vibration and you don't realize it you're going to be walking through this earth just you know staking the place up with your energy and the light workers your job is not only shine bright for others and be an example but you're supposed to heal other people's hearts people are going to want to know you they're going to want to know how you do what you do how you can shine so bright how you can glow when the world is so dark but that's important the battle's on baby it is time it's time for you to step into your power it's time for you to to pick up that slip from god you've been enlisted you are a light worker and you we need you now more than ever trust me and I'm gonna I'm done selling I'm calming down like I said you I'm in my power I'm good at protecting my energy but it's still you still get affected it doesn't matter I still was affected by this guy it bothered me but I realized that it was just his problem and I just had to I had to keep affirmations I had to do my protection and you know that was it so hopefully this you know the blueprints gonna be awesome I'm still working on stuff like I said energy exchange is a really interesting part of light working we're gonna work on that. I got, you know, so many, you know, childhood traumas. That's part of the healing process of loving yourself. Ancestral curses, which I was burdened with. 
I, I'm breaking that curse. I'm going to be the one in my family to break that curse that somebody in my past screwed up. One of my ancestors did some dirty shit, and I was stuck with it. And that's another thing that's important for you to understand. When you're a light worker or just a human being, and you do bad karma, and you don't, and you're not paying for that karma, that karma can be sent to your kids and your grandkids. If you don't pay, if you don't do what's right, it'll, it'll, yeah. So somebody didn't do what's right, and I was stuck with this karma as a child. Like I said, I was thinking about that earlier. When I talk about as an infant being attacked from day one, I mean every chance the darkness got to attack me it did. I mean four years old I got punched in the face by my neighbor kid because his older cousin didn't want him playing with the little white boy. And this kid just went up and hauled and punched me and I thought he was my friend. Next thing I know I was beating the crap out of him but I was crying. Just bull up. But yeah so I didn't lose the fight I just got punched in the face and then got sad and hurt and, and next thing you know I was beating the ass. So it's not like I'm not a warrior it's just I was attacked in 14. Um, Six foot four prison guard beat my ass. I was 14. He was six foot four. And he kicked my ass. I mean, I'm saying, these are things that you're going to, these are things that happened to me over my life. But I didn't let it affect me. I didn't let it, I didn't let it darken my heart. And that's another thing. You, the ability to take pain and the suffering and not internalize it and, and, and let it become dark. Let your heart become dark. Because you are a light heart. You are a light worker. And like I said, we need you, and I love you, and God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So yeah, I'm going to cook some dinner and relax for the night, and hopefully you have a wonderful Christmas, and hopefully you liked my sculpture park. Anyway, ah, it's good crazy, but yeah, the new year is going to be interesting. I love you, and I already said that. I'm a flirt, aren't I? Anyway, I love you, I'm going to let you go, and have a wonderful day.